Hi everybody, it's uh, John back with another a final reveal video. Do you remember me doing an inbox review on a Ravel Junkers JU87B2 and R2? And the kit had been... Well, let's just say I'd inherited it after somebody had nearly destroyed everything about it because he... I don't know what he'd even done to it. It, it, it had looked like it had been sprayed in a paint that had... Um, in a way decayed itself on the surface of the plastic but he painted the exterior parts in a funny sort of green colour and <clears throat> I did I did the inbox of you um, basically saying that the kit needed some TLC it hadn't been started in terms of any parts of the interior, but the kit had been painted and it wasn't a good job. And it was all flaking away and it was it was pretty awful. And I remember a couple of subbers saying on my video for the inbox of you that it would be interesting to see what you ended up with. Well, this is what I've ended up with and I'm actually quite pleased with the end result. The aircraft is actually painted up in Battle of Britain theatre colours with the yellow rudder and the yellow engine cowling and spinner. <clears throat> the underside of the aircraft, I'm just going to turn it over to show you the underside of the aircraft because it's quite nice. It's finished in matte 25 and it's actually a really nice kit, the Italieri kit. It was, uh, sorry, it was a Ravel kit, not an Italieri kit. The Ravel kit is actually quite nice. And I was very impressed with the way this kit went together. I was very impressed with it indeed. And I've actually, what I've done with this kit to try and, you know, make it a little bit more interesting is I've had this section of the canopy removable. Let's see if I can just click it off. There we go. It's removable. And you can put it sort of towards the back like that. And then hopefully, if I can... I can show you what the interior looks like, if I can. Um, the interior on this kit is really quite nice. The instrument panel painted up quite nice. I was quite impressed with that. And yeah, it was quite good. I was quite impressed. Um, can't really see an awful lot of the interior panel there, but there is quite a nice instrument panel painted up and the interior of the aircraft is actually quite good as well i'm sorry bill there's no pilots the kit doesn't come with any but the interior of the kit is actually quite nice i was quite impressed the propeller does rotate there we go it's a bit tight but it does rotate and it's it's got a nice bomb layout there it's quite it's quite a nice kit i was quite impressed yeah, so top marks there to Ravel. <clears throat> the colours I used on this kit were matte 30 green for the lighter green and matte 75 for the darker green to affect the splinter lift off a camouflage. And it's just bog standard gloss yellow in the humble range to affect the uh, the yellow in, the in theatre colours. The machine guns and the propeller blades were painted in matte semi matte 85. The, um, the siren propeller on the front there was actually painted in acrylic colour from Tamiya called Titanium Silver. And the undersides painted in matte 25 Luftwaffe underside blue. So there was no difficult colours to get hold of, uh, no real issues with the kit whatsoever. Also one of the things I liked about this kit was the uh, exhaust stubs were separate parts. So I painted those up and then just glued them in place with a bit of Tamiya um, Liquid, liquid poly and I painted those up in a mixture of um, I'm trying to think what colour it was is it 55 copper and then matte 26 leather brown or tan brown I think it's called and you get this sort of um, it's sort of a, a rusty sort of matty matted down copper colour for the exhaust stubs and I think it's quite effective looks quite effective anyway and uh, I really enjoyed putting this together and I enjoyed transforming the kit from an awful 
god awful god how am i ever going to get something decent out of this and it did actually come out quite reasonable so i'm quite impressed with that um would i recommend this kit yeah i would actually i think i would the revel kit is actually quite decent um i can't remember where the revel kit whether whether it was an original revel kit or whether it was an atelier kit actually i'll tell you what just quickly let's just um flash it up because i'm pretty sure i can probably flash it up and let you know um here we go yeah it's actually based on the atelier kit um yeah, it's based on the Italieri kit, which is quite interesting. So the Italieri kit, or the Revell kit, you end up with a, with a pr production like this. It's actually a nice kit, a very, very enjoyable build. Um, <clears throat> very much enjoyed putting this together. The cockpit's quite detailed as well. Um, but as I said, Bill, sorry, like, but there's no pilots, no gunner, no nothing. Um, but then, you know, there wouldn't be if the aircraft was just sat on the ground waiting for an operation, would there? <laughs> anyway, that's the kit finished. Um, hope this video has been of use. Um, yeah, quite proud of this one. I would recommend this kit. It's actually quite an accurate, quite a good, fun build. And also, the other thing I quite like about this kit is that the uh, the rear flaps here, all of the rear flaps, are all one piece to the wing. So you don't have to mess around putting those on. Um, like you do with some of the Airfix kits and other manufacturers' kits, um, yeah, the kit the kit is all one piece. It's a lovely, lovely kit to build. Really nice, and also the the tread on the tyres, they're quite nice as well. I was quite impressed with that. Tyres have tread on them. Yeah, very impressed. Nice kit. Anyway, any comments? Any questions? Pop them in the comments. So I'll try and get back to you as quick as possible. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you with the next one. Bye-bye.